tired of being sore after working out or just going for a run? Yeah! Do you really suck at stretching? Do you always get to stretch before your exercise? Yeah. Then I guess it's time for teaching you how to stretch before and after working out so you're no longer sore after stretching. Yay. Yay is right! Let's go! Stretching is an important part of the warm-up phase before you exercise. Doing so will prevent your muscles from pulling or tearing. It will also prevent lower back pain, exercise-related in injuries, and also relieve emotional stress. That explains yoga! And maybe I can fix this back pain I've been having for years if I start stretching more. No, you should not be doing ballistic stretching. This means stretching by bouncing or using momentum. The momentum from your body could actually cause more harm than good and you can pull or tear a muscle. <laughs> I don't understand why there's so many rules. Anything else I should know? Stretching could also be done after a light warm-up, such as jumping rope or jacking in place. Anything else? Actually, yes! <laughs> <laughs> To properly stretch your body, you will need to stretch to the point of mild tension. This means that you will feel a burn in your muscle, but not to the point of pain. If you stretch too far, it will do more harm than good. Are we done yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make sure to stretch both sides of your joints and body to properly stretch. Otherwise, one side will get more flexible than the other. Now are we done? No. Wait, I don't know how to stretch. That's no problem. We'll teach you. Uh, do we actually have to do this? Can I just like nap instead? Nope. Now let's start off with a partner stretch. Our first stretch you will be doing is the partner tugger and war. This involves holding each other's wrists and leading backwards to stretch your upper back and shoulders. Or in fancy fellow phrasing, your latissimus dorsi and deltoid muscles. So make sure to communicate with your partner during these stretches to make sure you are not pulling too far for the other. I think you're pulling too hard. My shoulder feels weird. That's called feeling the burn. I don't like it. Too bad. On to the next stretch. You will be doing the modified hurdler stretch. This is an independent stretch where you will be sitting on the ground and fold one leg into the other. Let's demonstrate. This stretch stretches your hamstrings and abductors. What? That means two sections of your thighs. Ow! Now are we done? No. Ugh. Now we have the kneeling anterior tibialis stretch. That sounds way too confusing. This one is the easiest one. Actually, it stretches the shin, or as the name suggests, the anterior tibialis. This next stretch is called the spinal twist, or the pretzel. It stretches your lower back and outer thigh, or in fancy fallow phrasing, your spinal erectors and your abductors. Time for yeah. standing lateral side bend. Let's do this one all together. How do we do this one? Stand upright with your feet slightly apart and hands together above your head. Stand this way and bend to one side and hold. Then repeat on the other side. Thank you for teaching me how to stretch. That's our job. Yeah, now you know. No, we gotta, we gotta do two. Wait, wait. Gotta get the Drop shaky the camera. Wait. This is going to go awfully. Wait.